Greetings all, it is I, Samuel Farron, and welcome back to more Let's Translate Trails at Dawn. Between this episode and the last, I went and spoke to the guy that uh, had the side quest for us, and it gave no uh, chaos at all. So I decided we shall skip it. Absolutely zero chaos, so we won't be getting the new stock time, but that's this one. Yeah. I just want to see what the hell's going on here. Apparently, we've got a client that doesn't want to meet us in uh, the city or in the capital, so we've got to drive around. He told us to just, like, drive around the thingy highway and wait for him. It seems uh, pretty interesting, but it'll take a lot of time. Should I, like, put an end to today's activities as well as uh, Quatra's, like, test period? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the third, like, ring road of, uh, like, the capital, what it's saying. Wow, this is, uh, kind of, like, exciting. Uh, it's like the spy movie from, uh, last month. Ah, oh, fairy, huh? You really seem to like this kind of stuff. You're such a kid. Or, well, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited too. Yeah, I agree, but how do you think they plan on, uh, like, contacting us? Yeah, maybe they have, like, a Zypher, like, installed in their car or something. Oh. Oh, looks like they found us. Wait, that's... Uh oh. Um... I feel like I've seen that before. That was Quadra speaking, so yeah, I guess he doesn't know Maxim. <laughs> Isn't that that, uh... Like, completely uh, let down racer from uh, the other day. Uh, Z1 top racer, Maxim, or Mr. Maxim uh, Lugan, or Rugan. Yeah, he always feels like he's uh, getting himself into trouble. But fairy. This is uh, our Crowd Resolution Officers. Uh, apparently, Bermati, like, introduced you to us. Yeah, I am Maxim Rugen. It's been a while, Spriggins. The four Spriggan request, was it? I heard from uh, Bermati, so I thought I'd uh, give you a request. Can you, uh, like, keep this off record, though? Dog? Wait, it's not a dog. Uh, it's it's a like new technology called Orbital Drone. Uh, don't worry about him. Uh, oh, uh, really? Uh, Mon Mart, huh? Is it a bistro? I guess that's a type of restaurant. Has a nice uh, atmosphere. Yes, uh, it's a lovely restaurant with lots of delicious food. <laughs> We're always uh, eating there. Hmm, a lot of these kind of... Uh, Restaurants end up being really good. And I shouldn't stand out here as much as uh, the high-class uh, restaurant that I usually go to. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hmm. Huh? Well, there's no one there. He got you. <laughs> oh, a child. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, she's the granddaughter of the guy that runs this place. Uh, Yume, he is technically a customer, so, uh, don't be too hard on him. <laughs> uh, Roger, but, uh, you have a strange face, old man. What a rude child. It's not like I'm wearing these sunglasses because, uh, I, like, want to. Uh, well, well. <laughs> well, it looks like you only have yourself to blame for it. Why don't we head up into the office before we catch someone's attention? Ugh. Yeah, let's hear you out at least.
My request is this. I'd like for you to search for a lady. That's uh, awfully to the point, so uh, what's with this lady? The truth is, uh, well, as you know, uh, I'm single, but... But uh, in the past, I had quite a nice relationship with this lady. Uh, a lot happened and we ended up splitting up there. And uh, it seems like she uh, recently had a child that I'm assuming is mine. That's... <laughs> is she blushing? <laughs> Looks like the scoops were right, you really are an asshole. Uh, well, they do say that like great men like to have a lot of fun, I guess. Um... Wait, did she just figure it? <laughs> no, it's not like that at all. What do you mean it's not like that? It's the truth, isn't it? Well, yeah, but uh, at least let me explain what's going on. Uh, it was about eight years ago. I was 23 back then. I'd only just become a Z1 racer, and uh, I was like kind of struggling to improve. And around that time, I sustained major injuries during a race. And in the hospital that I was taken to, I met with her. I made a miraculous recovery thanks to her, like, dedicated care and uh, re rehabilitation. And then, as I was being discharged, I confessed to her and we ended up dating. She was kind and strong-willed. I was completely in love with her. I had to persuade her, but uh, we ended up living together, and uh, then I made my comeback to Dead One. I was so happy. Now that I think about it, that was like the best time of my life. But thanks to her dedication and support, I actually managed to win the first Z1 that uh, I participated in after coming back. After that, I just kept on winning and winning, and uh, everyone started supporting me. Everyone would always like recognize me in public and come up to talk to me, and uh, I kept on going out on like night excursions too. And uh, I had a lot of, like, one-night stands with uh, other women, too. And during that, uh, she left me a note and uh, disappeared one day. I regretted my choices so much that I hated myself and I felt like I couldn't face her even if I, like, went after her. But two years later, through the whims of fate, when I went to that same hospital for a regular checkup, I learned that back then she got pregnant and uh, had to quit her job, just by coincidence. I think I'm starting to see exactly who this lady is. I was like so surprised, so I tried to talk to her, like one of her friends when she was still working there, but but she wouldn't tell me uh, that woman's like address or like uh, where she lived or anything. And at the end of it all, she said, uh, "If you keep on trying to follow her around, I'll call the braces on you." Well, uh, I guess that makes sense. You really are the worst. Ugh. Yeah, and this isn't the kind of thing that you could uh, talk to the police about either. Since she intentionally like hid from you if you were trying to like follow her, that would just make you a stalker. <laughs> yeah, if the guild knew about this, they'd uh, arrest you on the spot. Ugh. And so uh, after that big old scoop, you decided to try and rely on us for it, right? Yeah, I know it might be rich, but uh, after that, I've like, I've changed, I swear. I mean, yeah, I still go out and play at night sometimes, but I know where to draw the line. I swear on the goddess. And uh, in my free times, the reason I was going to all those other different places was to try and look for her and her child. And it's been uh, four years, like, of doing that. Maxim. Four years, that's quite a long time. Um... <laughs> but even if uh, that thing about all your other lovers was false, you were still doing it with that famous actress, weren't you? Uh, no, 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 that was, uh, she suddenly, like, invited me to dinner that night, and, uh, I actually thought it was kind of strange, because I didn't think we really had anything in common. I wasn't planning on doing anything with her, though. But if a woman as beautiful as that, like, comes on to you, it's only natural to <laughs> feel excited as a man, right? Oh, now he's getting defensive. Yeah, and I'm sure that wouldn't help your case with her if she's seen this uh, gossip magazine. Yeah. yeah, it was probably already over anyway, but 
This probably just got rid of my last ray of hope. So please, please help me. Um, well, I feel like this is pretty much all your fault. But it does seem to fit into our four Spriggan request uh, conditions there. Yeah, you can't rely on the police or the guild for this. Uh, you seem to have, like, good enough reasons for wanting to request this. Ban. Or just ban. So what's her name, uh, and do you have a picture of her? Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't tell you her name right now. Why? Uh, Spriggan. I know you helped me before, but honestly, I still can't trust you. And uh, I really want to make sure that I'm not causing, like, any trouble for them. Huh? <laughs> what a cheeky old man. Do you realize the position you're in here? But, uh, I think it's it makes sense that you'd want to be, like, careful. Yeah, given the times we're living in, it's a, a prudent decision. So, uh, in that case, what do you want us to do? I think we'd have a lot of ways to search for her if we, uh, like, had a photo of her. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a single uh, picture of her, like, with me. And that's also part of the reason why I had to go all around uh, the country, like, on my own two feet. But the truth is, I actually realized that there is one picture of the two of us together that still remains. Before we started living together, we went on a date to the Dark Memorial Park outside the capital. There was a certain event in an area that uh, later got shut off because of monsters that we participated in together. There exists a time capsule buried under the memorial tree. I'd like for you to help me dig it up. Damn, we got a full car now. <laughs> hmm, but it does seem like a really nice shop there, or a nice restaurant. It, it says bistro up there, I never even noticed that. Uh, I recommend the stew and the hamburger. Hamburger. They have pretty good uh, snacks for accompanying booze too. And they have a special, like, menu for stuff that goes well with baiju, which is a Chinese alcohol. Ah, uh, you and your booze. And damn, I kind of want to try going there on my way home. Actually, no, I don't want to think about what would happen if uh, someone recognized me. I think you're being uh, too, like, cautious, but... Uh, you could also get a takeout, I could recommend that. <laughs> yeah, their sandwiches are amazing. Oh god. Oh, Van, I wonder if his uh, job's busy. Oh, uh, did Van and the others go out? Yeah, they went out with some uh, strange looking uh, blonde haired old man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's weird. Uh, well, let's go, Yume. Yay, going shopping with Mummy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say anything, but I think it's pretty obvious what's going on here. Uh, once we get her, like, uh, her photo, or the photo of her, I'll tell you her name. Sorry, but uh, until we do that, I won't know if I can trust you or not. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. We're also not sure if we can trust you fully yet. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, so once we've got this uh, picture, we might be able to narrow it down, like, uh, using the orbital network quite a lot. Uh, you're pretty good at that kind of thing, aren't you, Rosette? Yes, uh, we can search through, like, resident data and, uh, like, like licenses and stuff uh, with it. If we use a lot of these techniques, we can uh, like reference it, but legally. We can really do that? Hmm. We really live in an insane uh, technological age, huh? Of course, we won't go like too far there. And there's also a chance we won't uh, tell you like, if we manage to find her. Huh? I think Van might already have an idea of what's going on. Well, there's a chance she might be married, like... Uh, like, if we find her. And uh, I'm not sure if we should, like, tell you, uh, <laughs> about her if uh, that's the case. Yeah, whether we tell you or not will d depend on her circumstances and uh, my own judgment. You're still going to be paying the fee, though. 
Wait, what are you saying? Oh, actually, no, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I suppose there is a chance she's been married. Wait, you didn't even think of that? If she's as amazing as you say she is, then there's a chance that, like, someone else might have fallen for her. Uh, yeah. I feel like now it's, uh, maybe more likely that she is married. <laughs> Am I too late? Uh, we're just, uh, talking in hypotheticals. If that turns out to be the case, I promise that I'll give up on her. And I'll pay you properly, so please, help me out. Very well, in that case, let's, uh, work out a plan. So, uh, I wonder if we can have to do another dungeon here. Huh, uh, so, you, <laughs> so you're working on a request from the authorities again this time? Yeah, they're really making use of me. Wait, is he actually lying this time? I don't think the authorities are involved at all with this. Uh, so we want to go into the sealed off area this time to help out our client who's in trouble. The deep forest area, huh? Yeah, whenever we like get rid of the monsters, they always just come back. They decided uh, to seal it off temporarily last year, or no, five years ago. And uh, it's stayed like that all this time. Although I'm sure you'll be fine, uh, but like, take this. Oh, is this the key? Yeah, it's the key to the thing. Thank you, all right then, we'll give it back once we're done. Honestly, Van, <laughs> it's funny how you never said that you were working for the authorities at all. Oh, I guess he didn't actually lie then. Uh, this really is a kind of gray area, huh? Really? You really are suspicious, you know that? Well, uh, fine, at least we can uh, get back this, like, Photograph. Well, yeah, but we have to make it there in one piece first. Uh, the sealed off area is to the left, right? Uh, let's head, let's go over there. And uh, Maxim's with us, but he's not gonna fight. Makes sense. So we're going left this time. We went right last time. That's weird. I thought we went left this time or last time, but my sense of direction is terrible as always. I like this area. Wow, it's so pretty. We're in autumn, so uh, we can see like cosmos plants or whatever. I fucking know. It's translated to like autumn uh, sakura trees. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it feels like such a waste that it's been like sealed off to the public. Oh, spiders. Uh, is that a monster? Oh, that wasn't here like seven years ago. Hmm, seems like it's not just, uh, that guy there, huh? Warning, warning, detecting a large, uh, enemy, like, uh, in my senses. Huh? What the hell's this? Some kind of, like, big monster? Maybe it's, like, the boss of the area. Ben? Yeah, uh, this might be pretty good for us. Okay, but let's be careful and, uh, prepare. Uh, what about you, uh, Sir Maxim? You could just, uh, wait by the entrance. No, I can't do that. I can't just leave you with my precious memories. I'm confident in my running speed and reaction time, so please let me come with you. Yeah, well, I'm sure you'll be fine, uh... But, uh, you should, uh, hang on to this just in case. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's for... Uh, digging up the capsule, huh? Got it. Yeah, just, uh, protect yourself with this, but, uh, don't, like come up into the front lines or anything, amateur. We'll, uh, take care of the beasts, so uh, please be careful. Or, like, don't worry, I think is what she said. <laughs> still resembles how it looked back then. We used to, uh, or, well, this place is called, like, the sunlight, uh, filtering through the trees, like, road and we used to walk side by side me and her oops replay that all right this place seems awful complicated doesn't seem like it'll take too long so I'll, I'll try and fit this all in one video i think i'll probably have to make the boss a separate one there 
Just got some of the same spider enemies, looks like. From uh, the other area. I guess all this guy wants to do is jump around. Die. Got a lot of health, don't ya? Do I have, uh, my little party members are with me, right? We went about to get them, didn't we? Yeah, okay. Barry's low on health for some reason. I don't actually know why she's low on health. I'm pretty sure I went to the hot spring, like, between videos, like, a few videos ago. I don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, this guy doesn't even have that much health. I'm surprised though, they haven't added like a new difficulty for, um, for this game in any of the patches. Like before I was done with Reverie, they already patched in like new content, including a, oops, including a new difficulty. I was kind of expecting them to do that for this game. I'm, I mean, I probably wouldn't have changed uh, the difficulty even if they had, unless they maybe added a, uh, like a new, uh, Difficulty for the active battles, just the, like I think the reason they're so easy to just fight enemies like this is because uh, because I'm on a lower difficulty technically while doing these. Although it's, it's still sometimes nice to switch. Got him. All right, looks like there was only a treasure over here. Karajanika. Oh, my Japanese accent is still terrible to this day. You would not... Listening to me speak Japanese, you would not think that I used to live there for a year. Because goddamn. Like, I hardly ever get to speak Japanese these days. Wait. Alright, I should have done that. Oh, fuck. Oh, this uh, pond is so uh, nostalgic. I remember we used to count the red fish uh, there. And uh, one time I got like, kind of uh, like too into it and almost fell and she uh, caught me by the hand and, ah, uh, come on, that's enough of your like, love stories. Uh, there are monsters around here. But, like there's a word in Japanese for bragging about like someone's like love or like relationship. And he used that. <laughs> I guess it's probably used for like annoying people. Like annoying people that won't shut up about their girlfriends. I hate people like that. It's not even like a jealousy thing, it's just fucking annoying. It's like you know that they're trying to make you jealous. It's just like, come on. But yeah, um, I was talking about Japan, wasn't I? Like, before I got rudely interrupted by Maxim talking about his ex girlfriend. Uh, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like hardly ever get to speak Japanese these days, but. When I do, I'm like, God damn, I suck at this language, because I, I have this uh, Japanese friend I keep in contact with. We, sometimes, we very occasionally call on Discord. And he sometimes, uh, like, if that's something I don't understand, he'll sometimes help me out with like a translation or something. Very rarely, though. And usually it's after like I've edited a video, so. You could say technically all these translations are my own. But sometimes if there is something I don't understand, I will, like, ask him. These guys are way easier than the last group of frogs we have to fight. I still feel like I'm basically just mashing the attack button the whole time. I see we've got... Does this lead to a new area? Hold on. That's a dead end, okay. Well... Oh, there's a new enemy. It's kind of like the rule of when you're like, let's playing a JRPG that, uh... You gotta show fights with new enemies. And although this isn't exactly a let's play, it basically is a let's play. Like, I'm not, I'm not fooling anyone, this, this is a let's play. Ow. Quick, 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 quick. Fuck you. But yeah, there's actually something uh, that Cheeky was thinking about talking about. Maybe, well, I think uh, next year 
Yeah, next year in like February, a new Atelia game is gonna come out. And I don't know how many of you guys actually care about that series, but I've been following it for a while, mainly because I just love the music in it. I just like whenever there's a new game, there's always like new songs and they're always sick. And I love listening to the soundtrack of those games, but I've only actually ever played one of them. And I only got a few hours in. But it turns out that that game that I played, by the way, it was uh, Atelia Sophie. It was like one of the first PS4 games, I think, that they that, that series had. But anyway, uh, I found out that they actually are going to make a sequel to that. Oh, yeah. And check out the music in that game. Well, I guess you don't have to, but the music in that game is really damn good. And uh, apparently they're making a sequel to that game, like that specific Atelier game with like all the same characters and shit. Like, probably like eight years, I want to say, like after the original was released. Well, actually, no, if it was PS4, then it wouldn't have been eight years ago, I guess. Actually, would it? Yeah, it probably maybe would have been on thought, yeah. All right, I took care of those guys and uh, decided to heal up while I was at it. But anyway, basically, uh, the thing with this, like, Telia Sophie 2 game that's coming out next year, I was thinking, fuck's sake, I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> ah, we used to, uh, like, eat lunch under this, uh, like, gazebo. I, I know it's not a gazebo, but, like, something like that. Uh, she used to, like, make us bentos in the, in the morning, and I can still remember how delicious they were. This guy seriously isn't listening to us. He's starting to like, really piss me off. <laughs> But yeah, this uh, Telia Sophie, Sophie 2 game, assuming that I'm done with this by February, I'm thinking maybe about uh, doing a Let's Translate of that. And I'll also have to play and finish the first game too, because I only got like a few hours into it. The only reason I got it was because the music's fucking sick. Apparently, it's not even that good of a game. Apparently, it's one of the weaker Atelier games, but I still want to play it. Like, if I am going to do this, but I just want to kind of, like, maybe see if you guys think that's a good idea. I don't think those games are typically as long as uh, these games. But, yeah, I might I might not be able to upload them as frequently as this game if I do do it. But, I mean, I, I think it might be fun. I was kind of thinking about maybe expanding the kind of games that I do these Let's Translates for. Because right now I'm only really doing, like, one a year. I mean, this year I did too, but that was because they did a re-release of the game that I hadn't played and also that uh, wasn't in English at the time. And I mean, I did try and fucking do that one game, but it was like a visual novel and I only got two videos in and while I was recording the third video, I was like, Jesus Christ, this is way too hard. I'm never going to fucking finish this, so I just gave up. The videos are still up. I, I was thinking about deleting them up like that. Uh, yeah, that, that one's kind of hard. And, like, like, the reason this game, even though there's a lot of text, a lot of it's kind of hard compared to most games, or at least compared to Naito. Like, Naito was so easy to record. It was just, like, none of the language was particularly hard. And uh, I barely had to do, like, any editing for it. But I finished that whole game in, like, a few weeks. Meanwhile, I'm probably coming up on, like, three months of playing this game. Is it live? But yeah, the reason uh, like that Fortissimo game was so hard was because there was so much like narration, so much like light novel kind of style narrations. There's stuff like that in this game, but usually it's like two lines at a time. It'll be like uh, after Van and the others like do something, there'll be a narration that says they did this and saw these characters to the place where they wanted to go, that kind of thing. So it's usually pretty simple. There's no like descriptive kind of things. Like, uh, like really kind of, uh, kind of book language, you know, like very kind of descriptive. There's nothing like that in these games, but there was a lot of that in that visual novel. And it was just too damn hard, man. I felt bad, but I, I kind of just gave up. But at least I'm not one to give up on, uh, these games, because I'm already like 100, uh, this is the 113th video, I think. So I think I'm doing pretty damn good. 
But honestly, though, I think I did. I've probably talked about this before, but I got really, really lucky on, like, the order of games that came out, like, after I finished, or, well, quote-unquote, finished learning Japanese, like, basically the time that I was, uh, doing Yeez 9, because, like, I heard about Yeez 9 coming out, and I was like, cool, okay. I hadn't even finished Trails of Cold Steel 3 at that point, by the way, at the time that, uh, Yeez, uh, Yeez 9 came out, so I'm really glad that they didn't release Trails into Reverie then, because, like, that would have just been kind of bad for me. So yeah, when that when I heard about Yeez 9, I was like, okay, maybe I could do a YouTube series on that, because my YouTube channel's been fucking dead for, like, ages. And I'm really glad I decided to do that, because it was pretty hard for me at the time, like, with my level of Japanese, but... It wasn't that bad, and I think I did, well, the editing was pretty shite, and, like, the audio balancing was terrible. And, like, <laughs> I recently, like, rewatched like, one video, I was like, Jesus Christ, it's terrible. But I think it went, like, fairly well, and I, I'm, I mean, I finished it, like, so that's a good thing. And then Trails into Reverie was probably, like, not as hard as this game, but still, like, fairly hard. So, like, I, I'm worried that if this game came out instead of Reverie, I wouldn't have been able to handle it at my like, skill level by then. I probably would have been fine, actually, now that I think about it. But still, it, it kind of eased me into these kind of games, because it was pretty long, but it wasn't as long as this game, I don't think. Uh, yeah, and, uh, well, yeah, after I did uh, Yeez 9, I kind of managed to just, like, finish Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4, like, pretty quickly. In, like, a few months. It, it still took a while, but... I kind of like dedicated a few months of my life just to like playing those games and just finishing them. So that I could be prepared for Reverie, because when they made an announcement to that game, I hadn't even finished Trails of Cold Steel 3 at that point. I think. So, uh, that kind of... Yeah, I'm, I'm really just, I'm just glad that I... Yeah, well, I, I, I had like a lot of spoilers for Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4. Like I kind of like reading YouTube comments and stuff. Not on my videos, on like other videos. So I kind of knew roughly what happened in those games, so like... It wasn't too big of a deal like what I saw on like... On the announcement to like Reverie, because it mentioned stuff about the Twilight and stuff, but yeah. Basically, I just think that uh, I, I got pretty lucky and... Why is... This guy hasn't attacked me for like 10 seconds or like, a whole minute straight, it feels like... Yeah. Combat, am I right, guys? Well. Oh, we've, we've even got more, Jesus Christ. Alright, nice. But uh, going back to uh, how, I, how I actually found out about Atelier Sophie 2, I follow one of the musicians that did a lot of. Fuck's sake, more dialogue. Oh, just wait until it's okay. Even Anya is like fucking sick of this guy. I don't even know why I'm waiting for them to finish, because like, you, it's not like you can fucking hear what they're saying over the van going, huh, huh, huh. Like every few seconds. Like... Alright, let, let's just do this, hold on. <laughs> um, well, back, uh, back when we came here last, like seven years ago or whatever, there was a huge uh, flower bed in this area, and uh, she smiled and said, wow, it's so pretty. And I looked at her and I said, babe, you're prettier. <laughs> but uh, I am kind of like envious of her there. Yeah, sometimes uh, those kind of lines are uh, like what make a woman most happy, right? I see. Uh, so that's how it is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy is so lame. I do kind of like Max in there. Even though he's kind of a creep and tried to hit on our like young teenage party members the first time we met him. But yeah, uh, I follow one of the musicians, like, who does a lot of the, well, well, who's bit, who used to be involved in a lot of, like, ah, fuck me. In, like, like, as a guitar player in, uh, the, uh, in Atelier games. He hasn't actually been in the game in, like, ages, but apparently, uh, this one, they actually got him back, and, like, a lot of the other musicians that were in the first game. But that's like why I was kind of so excited about it. 
and why I'm thinking of you like making this or using this as a good opportunity to like properly get into the series because it does seem really good and I, I've been saying like this whole time I really enjoy the music in that series I just noticed bands invisible again for like no reason still have no fucking what that is all about but I should probably heal them but I don't care um well we're I, I'm gonna hold on Let's see what's over here first. All right, so we got some spiders and some dogs. All right, I'm gonna clear out. Ooh, attack three, nice. I'm gonna clear out these enemies and I'll meet them. All right then. After that really intense fight, but I'm so sorry that you guys had to miss. Uh, Quattro and Fairy leveled up. Sweet, no new cross there. Nah, seriously, that fight was so annoying. It just went on for so long, and I also got hit like a dumbass. And oh my god, there's more. There's no birds, at least. Let's actually just fucking get this and then see what's down here. And I'll, I'll probably just, I'll probably just do one big cut again where I kill all these losers, nerds. Yeah. All right then. Uh, well, that's those guys down. But I reckon I'm just gonna have to cut again after this. I end up getting fucking ambush like three times that match. Uh, that fight, I mean. But I think the silver lining is that we're nearly there. That we just got some treasure down here. I might honestly... How much experience do these losers give? Let's see the... Mm. Oh my goodness. Alright, yeah, these guys give like... No experience. I'm not even going to bother with them anymore. I wanted to kill uh, that guy though. Just get Van CP up to a 200 or there. I'm in a pretty bad position if I get hit here. Oh well, I like living life on the edge. Yeah, let's just get to the end of this place. No doubt we'll have to fight some monster, which... Honestly, we might even get some, like, lore chaos for this. Probably not chaos there, given the nature of this request. But it looks like we're here. This place looks a lot more like the nature reserve place in Trails of Cold Steel than the other place. Oh, we got a gold one here, I see. All right then, uh, well, I'm probably, I'd be lying if I said I could be fucked to do any of the equipment stuff, but uh, I'm going to end it here though. Thank you guys for watching, and next time we are going to complete Maxim's request, so I'll see you guys then.